In this video, we will solve a graph traversal based problem and it's called friend circles and it's lead code 547. Here you are given uh, different connectivity information of different people. So uh, A can be a friend of B and if B is a friend of C, then uh, A and B are direct friends. There is no arrow here. These are undirected relationships. If A and B are friends, and B and C are also friends, then A and B are direct friends, B and C are direct friends, but A and C are also friends indirectly, not directly. There is no direct edge between A and C. So here you are given our different edges of the graph, different connectivity information across vertices, uh, and the information is given in the form of adjacency matrix. And we will see what is meant by adjacency matrix. So uh, here uh, it means that indirect link means that there is a path from A to C in this graph. There is no direct edge, but there is a path. You can go to C from A using B, A to B, B to C. So let's see how is the input given and uh, what we are supposed to output. So let's say this is one of the inputs. So here in this case, there are three people. So in adjacency matrix representation of graph, uh, you will have, uh, if V vertices are there, then you will have a matrix of size V cross B, V, where this matrix M, I, J, this will be either 0 or 1. So if it's 0, then that means I and J vertices are not connected. If it's 1, then th uh, that means that uh, vertices i and j are connected. So here we have three people. So we have three cross three matrix. And it's given that this uh, i i position is always one, this diagonal. That means a, a person x is, is a uh, friend of himself as well. So this diagonal will always be one. But uh, let's see what are, are other values. So here it's zero one then that means 0 and 1 are directly connected. A and this is undirected graph. So if 0, 1 is 1, then 1, 0 will also be 1. Then we have uh, 2, 2 will be 1, 1 is 1. Obviously, all the diagonals are 1. Then 2. 2 is not connected to any other uh, vertex. 2, 0 is 0. 2, 1 is 0. Similarly, uh, here also 0, 2 will be 0 and 1, 2 will be 0. So 2 is lying itself. So we have to find how many friend circles are there. So friend circles means that there are some friends. A is a friend of B directly connected. B is directly connected to C and so on. So in this way, D is also connected to A and C. So basically you can visit all of the nodes from within a circle. So within a friend circle, you can visit from any one node to any other node. So in nutshell, we are just trying to find the number of connected components. And this term is very popular if you are working with graphs. There is a notion of connected components. So there is a notion of uh, nodes and uh, edges in the graph and all the nodes which are connected form one connected component. So from among these nodes, you can visit from any node to any other node. And let's say there are a few more nodes which are connected. So from here, you can go to any other node within this connected component. And there is a node here itself, just one. So this graph will have three connected components, connected component one, two, and three. And in this problem, they have just introduced the notion of friend circle to denote the same thing. So what we will do here, uh, we have uh, V or N people. Initially, every one of them is unvisited and their diagonals are one. So what we will do, we will uh, find the first uh, person that is unvisited and that will be zeroth person in this case and start a DFS there. DFS means that go to all the nodes you can go from this nodes. If you reach a dead end, you come back and look other branches and let's say it had these two branches you visited come back come back here and let's say here are more branches 
so starting from here you can visit all the nodes which are connected but you cannot visit the nodes which are not connected to any of these so you will have to start a separate DFS from here so we start from the first row we see what is the unvisited node this node is unvisited since it's one and uh, we will start visiting them and when we visit we mark the nodes as zero so that we don't use any extra space you can also uh, use a separate array visited which will be of length n number of people in this case three and uh, initially mark them as false and then when you visit you mark them as true but we don't need in this case we can modify this array itself since the diagonals are initially all one that means all the nodes are unvisited whenever we visit any node or any uh, node we mark them as zero so what we will do we will start dfs from here so our count becomes one it was initially zero and we see what else can we visit so this zero zero is one we mark it as zero so now this is zero then we uh, look at all the neighbors of zero so the neighbors of zero are captured in this row zeroth row this zeroth row denotes that zero zero is connected zero one is connected zero two is not connected so what are the neighbors of zero this one so uh, a kth row in general will denote all the k friends of k that is nodes which are connected to k whatever values are one are connected to it whatever values are zero are not connected to it so uh, we start dfs from this we mark it as zero then we see what nodes are connected to it one is connected to it so we mark it uh, as zero and start a dfs from this one so when we start a dfs from this one we come to this row corresponding to that node to look for its neighbors so we come here we mark it as visited and uh, next neighbor is one so we mark it as visited zero so all are zero now and we start a dfs from this zero but we see that it's already visited it's zero now so we will not do anything return and so on so if we start dfs from here we visit these four values or nodes 0 and 1 but we will not reach here since 2 is not connected to 0 and not connected to 1 also so it so we will visit 0 and 1 next we will come to this row and see that if this is 0 or 1 this is 0 since we had visited so we come to next row and we see if this is 0 or 1 this is 1 so that means it's not visited yet in the first dfs so we increment the count and start a dfs from here also so now we will come to this row corresponding to this 2 this is this row and we see what are the different neighbors of this and mark them visited so only this will be marked visited and now there is no more row left so we return so we return whatever is the count that is how many times we need to restart a dfs so this will denote the number of connected components which is two now let's look at another example here let's say this is the same adjacency matrix only thing is that here i have made it, made it one so this is zero one two zero one two so this is node zero zero is connected to only one node one now we come to one what are the nodes connected to one so one is connected to zero that is already captured here one is connected to one that is true for all the nodes and one is not connected to anything else now we come to two so there is one error here if we mark this as one this will also become one this matrix will be symmetric across the diagonal that is its transpose will be same so one is connected to two so it's like this although zero and two are not connected since zero two is zero and two zero is also zero so here if we start dfs from zero we will visit one we will visit two so we have visited all the nodes 
so here the number of connected components will be 1 so we start dfs from here we mark it as 0 we come to this row and see its neighbor its neighbor is 1 we mark it as 0 and come to the row corresponding to this value 1 so we come to this row we mark this as 0 and uh, we will not do dfs here since it's, it's already 0 and then we make it 0 and then we see that it has a neighbor 2 so we mark it 0 and we come to the row corresponding to this that is we come from here to here then from here to here and here we see that this is 1 so we mark it 0 and we start dfs from 1 we go to 1 we see the position 1 1 it's already 0 we return we see its next neighbor its next neighbor is 2 so we mark it as 0 and start dfs from here but it's 0 so we return and finally the count remains 1 and there is no other value that is 1 so we will not start a separate dfs so let's write the code for this so we will write it in C++, Java and Python. So if, so first let's keep track of, of a counter, count, count is 0 and uh, i equal to 0, i less than m dot size plus plus i. if this ith node is unvisited then what we do uh, we increment the count and we start a dfs from here we will shortly define the dfs function dfs m and the vertex is i and now let's define this a dfs function and finally here we will return count So if this is one, uh, if this is zero, that means we have already visited it. So we return. Else, if it's not visited, then we do the same thing. So this uh, we are iterating. Uh, we are looking into this row corresponding to node v that is vth row so v0 v1 v2 v3 so this i will go from 0 to n minus 1 so if this is 1 we make it 0 and we started dfs from this and we return finally so let's see if it works so this works for this case let's submit and the solution is accepted it's not that bad it's showing better than 78 percent of the users of the accepted submissions in c++ so here we are not uh, incrementing the count why is that because we started dfs from uh, one of the unvisited nodes and here we are just going from one node to other so we started dfs from this zero we come to one we explore all the values in row one so we see that two is connected so one is zero is also connected but it's already visited so we look at it, its next neighbor which is two so we go to 2, mark 2 as visited and start a DFS from 2. We come to 2, we see that it's connected to 1 but 1 is already visited. 
so this way we are looking at its neighbors and starting dfs from there so we are in the same connected component only if we have exhausted all the possibilities and there are some nodes which are not visited we will start a separate dfs and then we will increment the count as we are doing in the main function here we are looking at all the nodes so in the process many of these nodes will get visited and when we go to the next node second node we will see that it's already visited then we will go to the third node and we will see that it's already visited and now let's uh, write the same code in java and python so let me copy the dfs function So no, not much of change is required here. and it works in java as well here the run time is even better 1 millisecond so it's just a matter of chance if if you try a few times it may give you 0 millisecond as well but you can assume it to be the best solution it will it will be better than almost all the sub submissions So we need this uh, m across different calls, different uh, recursive calls of DFS. So we will set it in self. and the solution is accepted in python as well although here the time uh, taken is much more than that of java and c++ please share any other method if you have uh, where the time taken in the python solution is much less compared to this solution <coughs> 